And now we are about to see a special page in history when Yankee Doodle dumped the tea into Boston Harbor. <laughs> Was a king of England, George the Third was he. He tried to rule America from far across the sea. When some advisers warned him freedom was the thing, he shook an angry fist and said, "I'll show them who's the king." Ordered lots of troops there and signed a new decree to tax most everything at all. He even taxed the tea. The cry went up in Boston. The king was doing wrong. But what could one small city do against a king so strong? To fight the king was treason. They knew the penalty. They all could wind up hanging from the highest village tree. But there were men in Boston whose hearts were brave and true. John Hancock and Sam Adams and a lot of others too. They waited for the moment ships arrived with stacks of lots of tea that was to be the tea King George would tax. The patriots were ready. They sounded freedom's call and held a big mass meeting at the old South Meeting Hall to strike a blow for freedom. The thought came suddenly: if there should be no tea to tax, there'd be no tax on tea. That night they put on war paint, wore feathers for disguise, and went down to the wharf to give the British a surprise. They lit their way with lanterns so there could be no slips. Whooped it up like Indians and stalked aboard the ships. They opened up the hatches where all the tea was stored. Split the chests with tomahawks and dumped them overboard. I tell it to the king, they said. Let the whole world see. Our hearts are filled with freedom, like the harbors filled with tea. Those patriots of Boston live in history. They stood up 